Welcome back to the channel. Today let's take a look at a very nice rendition of a Colt Sheriff's model cap and ball revolver from Pieta. This 44 caliber revolver is based on Colt's 1851 Navy model, but there's a bit of a catch in that statement. Colt never actually developed a production run of Navy revolvers chambered in 44 caliber, so it's not actually a true reproduction. The 1851 Colt Navy is a 36 caliber revolver which was very popular and remained popular even after cartridge revolvers arrived on the scene some two decades later. Longer barrel lengths were often shortened to reduce weight and sometimes allow for better concealability. Fluting the cylinder was also a weight saving measure, which is still utilized in modern revolvers we see today. I'm not exactly sure where the term sheriff's model originated but a lot of the shorter barrel models were often referred to as such. If you've ever handled a Navy style Colt revolver, you've probably already noticed how pointable it is, which is why so many early gunfighters favored the Colt Navy. Colt's 1860 44 caliber Army model is the one that comes to mind most often when you refer to that caliber. Why Colt never developed a 44 caliber Navy model probably had a lot to do with fulfilling their military contracts during that time frame in U.S. history. Bottom line, here we are some 150 years later and what we have before us is a model of a Colt that was never actually made. In spite of that, this recent acquisition has been added to my cap and ball revolver collection. Minus the percussion caps, I have it loaded and will be test firing it later this afternoon. In a future video, I'll include some footage and you can see all that went. Since there's currently an ammo shortage happening, I've found myself dusting off my cap and ball collection, mostly because I haven't detected any ammo shortage for this type of firearm. In my area, shops that sell black powder shooting supplies still appear to be well stocked, so don't be surprised if I decide to present additional topics centered around black powder firearms. To conserve my smokeless powder supplies, I've even been loading black powder cartridges for my Colt and Remington reproductions just like they did back in the day. You know, I'd almost forgotten how much fun it was to shoot period correct ammo in these revolvers. To say it was a hoot was simply be an understatement. So, if you'd like to see more topics centered around black powder firearms, let me know in the comments section below. Until next time, practice often, shoot straight, and thanks for stopping by.